700 miles southeast of New York, in mid-Atlantic, there are the flying fish, Bermuda's official greeters. Actually, it's a wink of your eye on the four airlines which serve the island daily. 90 minutes by air, or a weekend by ship, from the American East Coast. The classic way of going to Bermuda, for saltwater buffs only, is the blue ribbon event of the yachting world, the Newport to Bermuda Ocean Race. a sailor. All Bermuda and visitors turn out for this. It's one of the great traditions of sailing. This man is obviously not a member of the club. Everybody and their sister, dressed to the nines. This chap's gone nine and a half. Over three and a half centuries ago, no one dressed, or no one inhabited this uninhabited island. Came the British, instantly bathing suits and Bermuda shorts. Now it's 40,000 odd inhabitants have a governor appointed by Her Majesty the Queen, a squad of fanfare trumpeters and a tradition as long as your arm. British to the bone, it has an ancient carriage and prancing steeds, regimental guards and bands. There's His Excellency the Governor. Cutaway coats and silk hats and the oldest parliament outside of Great Britain, all under a semi-tropical sun, strictly Bermuda. This is the original capital town of St. George. An ancient ceremony is taking place. They are about to pay the rent for the old state house. By Jove, this better go accurately to schedule. One peppercorn, now there's a reasonable rent. I wonder if they're hard to come by. There's a familiar face, a couple of them in fact. This island must be a floating conference table in the Atlantic. This chap too, very familiar. Some streets in St. George have very quaint names. Of course, there's no question of their origin. Here's one of the more bashful types coming down. dominates the island, the white roofs of Bermuda. See them from just the right angle and the island seems sort of a big wedding cake. And here's where the pieces of cake are sliced out of. The stone of Bermuda's houses are cut from coral quarries, right out of the heart of the island itself. lime washing the roofs. It's done twice a year to keep them lily white.
this is nothing. <laughs> you should see me put the storm windows up back home. From white roofs to white fields. Bermuda is the land of the Easter lily. garden like that? Speed limit for the entire island, maximum 20 miles per hour, and even 15 in some places. I'm frightfully sorry, sir. Regulations are strictly enforced. It is uncomfortable, isn't it? After the whites of Bermuda, the reds, led by the Poinciannas, the island is alive with them. Truly a lovely sight year-round. Some enchanted canvas, Mary Martin, painter in Bermuda. These kids are obviously on their way to the gardener for a haircut. The magic colors of the caves, one of the many settings that make Bermuda one of the most photographed islands in the world. But for the real essence of color, I'll take the thousand and one shifting hues of the island's waters. Hotels without end, each individual with its own center of activities and entertainment. Every night I made the tour from hotel to hotel. So did everybody else. That's the way Bermuda is. Guest houses and cottage colonies dot the island. Quaint, unhurried way of life that seems uniquely Bermudian. Breathtaking view and hat taking too. And so the hat falls, and this is the flower pageant held annually in Bermuda. Would you mind? Why well, don't mind if I do? I just set this as F11 and catch the old lady. I caught it. There you are, sir. Think nothing of it. Quick, get a picture of that girl before her mother sees us. It's not a clock, it's a bloomin' weather vane. What's a fella do who wants to know what time it is? So, who worries about time in Bermuda? Frankly, no one. Time doesn't stand still here, doesn't exist. Just relax and enjoy.
Man's best friend is his hammock. Right, Rover? One thing I found worth getting out of a hammock for, a great golfing available all over the island. Fun game, golf, especially on the most beautiful courses in the world. Good afternoon, this is your sportscaster, Nigel Winters, bringing you the boat races from Bermuda. Here are the Bermuda dinghies as they come in on the easterly leg. Hello, seems to be some sort of disagreement among the crew. And now we move on to the sunfish class competition. New class, you know. There's a fine spanking breeze and the crews are working hard to try to win. That's it, come about, Bob. Hurry now. Oh, Margaret. Look out there. Keep your watch on. Down, Billy. Up. Oh, now around we go. Good thing I've got my slicker on. Oh, <laughs> Betty. Her watch fell over. Too bad. Keep down, Dolly. That's it. That one worked too hard. He decided to turn over and take a nap. He was trying to bail the boat out with his sock. Oops. Looks like they're all laying down the jar. trying a bit of the brush stroke. She's doing a nice job with just the palm of her hand. I say this is a little close in here. Hmm. Oh, yes. Look out, Fred. Margaret. Hello, Bob. Oh, in the water. There, we're free. Out into the open sound again. Look what the Bermuda mailman brought us today. Famous comedian Carol Burnett in Bermuda. Her stage is water and skis. Coming right at us. Destroyed the camera. Down to the sea for fish. Nobody bothers to talk about where the fish are in Bermuda. They surround the island on all sides. Push them too hard and they'll take over. Mm -hmm. and that's just the bait. More wahoo, only bigger. And there's bigger still. We didn't get them. Bonefish, pound for pound, the best fighter in the sea. On light tackle, you might lose him. The tackle, too. Now, about chaps like these, always puzzled me. Do they think they are fish? The water's so clear. You don't know you're underneath it, really. 
That is, until you start to breathe it. This is what I call fishing. Oh, that's hardly a keeper. I know. I've got an idea. I'll go to the famous Bermuda Aquarium where the fish sleep in. this fella if fish really like worms, and he asked me if I really liked fish. Now, that's a pretty tricky question, for a fish, that is. This aquarium is called the Atlantic Ocean. A few hundred yards offshore, coral reefs, helmets supplied, and open to all tourists, and plenty of them go. Strange way to spend a honeymoon. This is known as going around in circles. Say, look at that big fish, teaching the little fellows. Here they learn to swim, even before they can walk. This is a hogfish. His name is Theodore. Ah oh, well, who wants to drink water all the time? milk, for that matter. Now, there's the kind of a doll a fish likes to have breakfast with. Here's a real doll and a real breakfast on a terrace with water in its proper place. Terraces, beach picnics, formal dining rooms, pubs, taverns, restaurants, you name it. Eat yourself dizzy in Bermuda. I did. By Jove, four o'clock. Sugar, lemon, cream, tea. The oldest tea in the Western Hemisphere. The entire island stops for the ritual of tea. At times, there is a weekly tea party for all tourists, hosted by the mayor of the capital city of Hamilton. Two lumps or one, sir? Oh, what do you know? That chap's having hard tea at hard tide. And kids never leave their underwater backyard. Here you are, boy. You can get 20 years for drinking that in tea country. Bermuda moon gates are supposed to be entrances to heaven. This one leads to Front Street, heart of Hamilton Shopping Center. Heaven enough, my wife says. They call it Front Street. I call it Avenue de la Packageurs. My wife calls it Avenue de la Bargains. English textiles, china, doe skin gloves, cashmere, silver, jewelry, crystal, perfume. Even I like shopping here. No pressure.
or my travel agent. There's something about a Bermuda sunset. The sun sort of sighs itself down. And out come the Bermuda cats, known as the Talbot Brothers. I very rarely dance, but when I do, never with my shoes on. Again. 